Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you are Libra. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for the month. So what do we have for Libra please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Thank you. Okay, so card I have is King of Wands. Message for Libra, please. Message for Libra, thank you. For March 2021. Thank you. I have reconsider. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards. Roughly works out as one card per week. So divine timing and all that, the messages may well overlap and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. As you know by now, we always do Libra. Um, remember, it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. So message for Libra, please. Angels, spirits, guides for March 2021. What do we have for our lovely Librans? Thank you. Thank you. I have the Three of Swords, Libra, which is Libra in energy, by the way. We have Judgment. Oh, it's interesting. I've pulled two cards. So I have the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands there. I did pull two cards together, which is interesting. So I'm just going to leave those there. And Three of Pentacles is the final card. Okay. Well, can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Libra. What do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, there you are, Libra. Queen of Swords, that is you. So the Judgment card we have with the Two of Cups. Two of Wands and the Knight of Swords is clarified with the Four of Swords. And we have the Seven of Cups with the Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. I have the Five of Cups. Okay, Libra. I'm going to clarify this King of Wands. Let's just get an extra card for this King of Wands, please, for Libra. Thank you. <laughs> so he's associated with the two of wands which is actually appearing here in your third week okay so two of wands is a card of making decisions and generally it's decisions about your future there are two paths before you and you're being told really trust your intuition now to choose um this is an empowerment, empowerment choice as well. Generally, you see somebody choosing one wand and not the other. You can see it better in this card here. It's like somebody's already made their choice. You have your world in your hands, standing in an empowered position, ready to shape your life the way you want it shaped now, your world the way you want it shaped. So it's an empowered energy. So for some of you, it feels in this energy that there will be some kind of choice or decision this month. It could be to do with something that this King of Wands is bringing in. Um, now remember, being your overarching energy, this can also be you, male or female energy. If it is to do with a person bringing some kind of choice or decision in your life, the King of Wands is somebody who is a leader, very magnetic, very confident, a go-getting energy, very successful, 
uh, has lots of drive and energy. So that might resonate with somebody that you might meet in whatever situation. It could be in terms of business. It could be in terms of love, very passionate energy. Um, if this is you, Aquarius, this is a card of taking the lead, being in your power, um, maybe to make some kind of choice or decision. Or this person is bringing in some kind of choice or decision that you need to make. The message is when you make the decision, you're being told to reconsider. So there is a kind of energy here of just second guess yourself this month. Before you make some kind of decision or choice, there's some kind of message that I'm getting here, Libra. Just second guess yourself. Um, and remember, you're being told to reconsider something. And it's interesting that I'm seeing the sword in that picture because the sword is to do with the mind. The Queen of Swords holds the sword as well. The clarity, the perspective, um, the truth, you know, that kind of energy. So just make sure you're seeing things clearly when you make some kind of decision or choice. Yeah. We have this card with the Queen of Swords. Now, both of these are Libra energies. So Three of Swords can be emotional pain, something causing you emotional pain. I mean, there's levels to this card. Yes, it can be to do with third party situations. It can be some truth that cuts you deeply, um, being deeply hurt in a situation. And the Queen of Swords is you, male or female energy Libra, but the Queen of Swords is somebody who understands how to get balance back in their life having been tested. So there is a need to reconnect to who you are, um, see the truth of the situation. Again, there could be some truth that's come out here, um, but definitely somebody who gets clarity, balanced perspective, balanced judgments um, in order to move forward in their life now. So it feels for some of you, you have been deeply hurt. I mean, this could be coming on from February um, to March. And there's definitely this energy of you have the opportunity to get balance back, get balanced perspective, balanced judgments, balanced choices, decisions, and understand how to move forward now, you know, see the truth of the situation, get your head around it, and make judgments accordingly in terms of how you move forward. You have an opportunity here. Because the judgment card is a card of, and it, it feels for some of you, you're torn between two, two paths this month. I'm seeing so many twos in your readings. It feels in this energy, Libra, there is definitely an energy of, of two paths being available to you. You know, the judgment card is about making some kind of judgment call. Do I stay on my current path or do I go in a different direction? So in terms of love, romance, relationships, it might well be for some of you, you're making some kind of decision. It could well be to do with how you're moving on from being hurt. It definitely feels, I mean, the twos are generally, can generally be the beginnings of something new. So it feels for some of you, there is some kind of event or some kind of opportunity or offer or invitation coming your way. I mean, the two of cups, yes, it can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. Um, it's asking you to make some kind of judgment call, this two of cups. It can be to do with reconciliation. It can be to do with, so, making peace with somebody. Uh, it can be to do with some kind of offer or an invitation that's close to your heart coming your way. It can be to do with new love, you know, for some of you. So there is some kind of judgment call where you have almost kind of like these two paths available to you. Do I reconcile? Do I stay on my current path? Do I go in a different direction for some of you? And it feels that that is some kind of judgment call that you'll be making possibly second week in March. The good thing is, I mean, this is Libra energy as well. You are getting your head around. You see, you can see the three swords above this person and then they have the fourth sword there. And four in tarot is about stability, foundation, grounding. So there's definitely this energy of you're getting your head around a situation. This can also be about giving some deep thought, recovery, 
um, getting clarity on how you move forward. And it's to do with this, because there definitely feels that there is some news or some, I mean, this can be news, conversations, piece of information, a conversation, I mean, you know, call it what you will, coming in that's bringing change or that offers change. The nights always offer change. And the two ones, it feels like some kind of information, news, data, call it what you will, is coming in and it will require you to make some kind of choice or decision. So this can follow on from this kind of energy, you know, making some kind of choice or decision with regard to what this two of cups is. You know, how do I move forward? The night is also, it can be to do with you. I mean, Gemini is a card of Gemini, but it can be to do with you being air energy. How do I move forward? How, how do I find my direction? And it feels for some of you, you're making some kind of choice or decision in how you move forward now, how, what direction you go in, you know, that kind of energy. But it can be to do with some news, conversation, incoming message here, giving some deep, deep contemplation, reflection, and thought, and then making some kind of choice or decision. This is what I want and this is what I don't want. The five of cups, Libra, can be a card of regrets. So again, for some of you, there could be some reconciliation offered to you. Someone may want to reconcile here. And for some of you, because this is a card of, of someone looking at what's gone, you know, uh, I don't see that. I'm not sure I see this as you with the Queen of Swords being in your reading. I see this as being the other person. I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody is regretting their actions. I mean, it's interchangeable. This can be you. This can be the other person. It's a general reading. But there's definitely an energy of there's still hope. Um there's still hope in the situation, but you have an opportunity, you're at a crossroads now. Do I stay on my current path? Do I reconcile? Do I give them a second chance? Or do I go my own way? And that's definitely what I'm feeling in this energy. So the seven of, of cups, yes, is to do with choices. And again, this is a card of choose wisely because it is a karmic energy, the seven of cups. So choices have consequences, both good and bad, as does judgment. So a lot of karmic energy here, some choices, decisions to make. It feels that whatever decision you make, Libra, it probably will stay with you for some time. That's generally what judgment asks you to do. So some kind of choice, decision, and the message is you choose by trusting your intuition in how you move forward. So definitely this energy of there are two paths, choose wisely here. Uh, but some kind of choices, decisions, you've got more options than you realise here as well. There are many doors to open. Um, and the message is just trust your intuition on opening the right door for you. The three of pentacles, it can be a card of rebuilding a team. So in this instance, there could be all is not lost. There is an opportunity to rebuild a relationship. For some of you, that could be that energy. This can also be to do with doing up a home on your own, um, focusing in terms of money and career for yourself. You know, there's, there's a good a level of success with this card and um, very, very beautiful energy here. So the message is, Libra, throughout this energy, there may well be a gut reaction that you have to make some kind of choice or decision here. The message is just reconsider, give something some deep, 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 deep thought before you make some kind of decision or choice because it is going to stay with you for some time. And remember, the judgment card appearing in any reading is actions have consequences, good and bad. But, you know, the decisions that we make, we stand by and are with us for some time when judgment appears. So the message is, if there is a choice or decision to make, make sure you choose wisely. Yeah, but there's definitely a feeling of, of 
all is not lost. I definitely feel somebody is regretting something here. As I go through the reading, it feels very strongly in terms of love, romance, relationship elements here. Um, but again, what you focus on now, what right for you, what's right for you, you trust your intuition. Okay. So final message for Libra, please. Final message for Libra. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you see, the cards are in sync. We have new beginnings. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby, yeah. But there's definitely some choices that you're making now about your future. And it feels like there is a lot of crossroads energy in this reading. Two avenues available to you. And the message is just really consider this very carefully. Trust your intuition and you won't choose wrong. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Libra. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.